The second niyama is santosha, meaning contentment, and Patanjali's words are, um, translate as from contentment arise a happiness within unexcelled. Um, and I can't help but smile whilst talking about this niyama. Um, it's, yeah, accepting that we have a good enough life as it is, being content with what we have, um, trying to cultivate gratitude in our lives, um, noticing the richness in simple things and appreciating everything that we have. Um, so a mudra for this um, niyama is Bhairava mudra. So you're going to bring the palms together in your lap. In fact, so the right hand is over the left and then you just bring your thumbs together like so, the tips of the thumbs. Um, relax the palms in your lap. Sit up nice and tall and take some deep breaths. Focus on all of the good in your life. Come into your body. Be grateful of the time that you've spent. Appreciate where you've got to in your yoga practice and how far, how much time you've still got to achieve. And there's no rush. Just be content with what you can achieve and what you can do. So the pose I've chosen uh, for Santosha is one of my favourites and I seriously recommend the, you to just choose a pose that you enjoy doing and that one that you feel perhaps you've made progress in or that you're proud of your achievements in. I'm going to be doing Sphinx pose. Um, so I'm going to come to lie flat on the mat on my abdomen. I'm going to bring my tops of my feet flat to the mat as my hips press down, my elbows are under my shoulders and I'm lifting my crown of the head to the sky. A nice variation of Sphinx is just to bring the palms face up and I'm going to breathe into the abdomen and be grateful for my body and all the fantastic things it can do all of the systems that are running all of the time, my breathing, my circulation, and how glad I am that yoga allows me to improve my physical and my mental health, and how lucky I am to be able to spend time practicing and sharing my practice with others. Santosha.